And the wildfire that left hundreds of homes in ashes skips a sacred spot. Good evening. The count of homes lost in the Little Bear Fire in the Lincoln National Forest still stands at 224. Today, more people were let back in to survey the damage left behind when the nearly 38,000 acre fire tore through the mountains. The weather has been on the site of the fire crews these past few days, enabling them to get that blaze 40% contained. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live in Rio Doso with a compelling look at what crews and homeowners have been dealing with this past week. Nancy? Yeah, Dean, they took us on a tour of the area that is still closed, and it was absolutely unbelievable. In fact, on the ridge where I'm standing, you can see how this fire really hopscotched. It devastated some areas and then left other areas alone. It was a monster that came to their community, first creeping, then raging. They're putting out a code red message to Alto Village and High Mesa area as well for potential uh, pending evacuation. As it grows and grows, law enforcement rushes into the burning area. They have little time to evacuate hundreds of people. The unknowns that you don't prepare for, you know, is a tree going to fall behind me that's burning? And am I not going to be able to get out? Or will I, uh, you know, succumb to smoke inhalation? Sergeant Dale Harrison was one of those officers who drove into the fire evacuating people. One of those officers who told homeowners they had five minutes to collect their most important, precious possessions. As you can hear by this radio dispatch that horrible Friday night, the fire, that monster, was here. Real large fire embers that are hitting Highway 48 just at the top of the hill here. When it was over, 224 homes were gone. Amazingly, no one was hurt. A look at the burn area now shows a once lush green forest looks more like the surface of the moon. Yeah, mandatory evacuation of the North Alto area. The fire was vengeful at times, forgiving at others, like this cemetery. The fire completely surrounded it, but passed over this place of rest and the church across from it. It is, it is strange. That's, that is unique. You know, uh, I don't know if you believe in divine intervention or not, but uh, it is. Uh, it is not something that you see very often to see such damage and destruction behind this area. And then this whole place is spared and then it continues on with the damage and destruction. Yeah, you all, they did show us a lot of those homes that were completely destroyed and they've asked us not to show some of them because police are still in the process of notifying homeowners. More than 200 people lost homes in this fire, and that is the bad news. The good news is, though, today they did open some of the areas. Ranches of Centero now open and Sun Valley now open. Half dozen other areas, though, still closed. Back to you. All right, Nancy, thank you very much. With monsoon season fast approaching, the village of Rio Doso and Lincoln County don't want any more devastation to hit the Little Bear burn scar. Soon officials will start sandbagging and using other techniques to prevent flooding there.